The thylacine, also known as the Tasmanian tiger, was a unique and enigmatic marsupial that once roamed the dense forests and grasslands of Tasmania and the Australian mainland. Its distinctive appearance, with its long, slender body, a head resembling that of a dog, and a stiff tail, earned it the nickname, Tasmanian tiger. Unfortunately, the thylacine is now widely believed to be extinct, with the last known individual dying in captivity at the Hobart Zoo in 1936. However, sightings and reports of the creature have persisted over the years, leading to ongoing efforts to search for evidence of its continued existence. The thylacine was a top predator in its ecosystem, preying primarily on small marsupials and birds. It is thought to have been primarily nocturnal, with a solitary, elusive nature that made it difficult to study. Despite its reputation as a fearsome predator, the thylacine was hunted to extinction by European settlers who believed it to be a threat to their livestock. The introduction of non-native species such as foxes and feral dogs further contributed to its demise, as these new predators competed for food and territory. In recent years, there has been a renewed interest in the thylacine, fueled in part by reports of sightings and unverified photographic evidence. Several expeditions have been launched to search for the elusive creature, with some researchers claiming to have captured footage of an animal that resembles the thylacine. These reports have sparked excitement and controversy within the scientific community, as many remain skeptical about the possibility of the thylacine's survival. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence that has emerged in recent years is a study published in the Journal of Zoology in 2017. This study analyzed eyewitness accounts and camera trap footage from remote areas of Tasmania, where the thylacine is believed to have had its last stronghold. The researchers behind the study claimed that the evidence strongly suggests the continued existence of the thylacine, pointing to the possibility of a small, isolated population persisting in the wild. The study's findings were met with both enthusiasm and skepticism, with many researchers calling for further investigation to confirm the presence of the thylacine. In response, several research teams have launched new expeditions, equipped with advanced camera traps, drones, and other technology to search for the elusive creature. These efforts have been supported by crowdfunding campaigns and public interest in the potential rediscovery of the thylacine. While the search for the thylacine continues, it is important to consider the implications of its rediscovery. If the thylacine is indeed found to be alive, it would represent a monumental conservation success and a second chance for a species that was once thought to be lost forever. The thylacine's potential survival would also shed light on the impact of human activity on the environment and the resilience of nature in the face of extinction. In addition to its ecological significance, the thylacine's rediscovery would have cultural and scientific implications, sparking new research into its behavior, genetics, and conservation needs. It would also generate public interest and awareness about the importance of protecting endangered species and preserving biodiversity. While the search for the thylacine is ongoing, it is important to approach the subject with scientific rigor and skepticism. Claims of sightings and evidence should be carefully evaluated and scrutinized to ensure that they meet the standards of peer-reviewed scientific research. Whether or not the thylacine is ultimately found to be alive, the search for this iconic creature serves as a reminder of the wonder and mystery of the natural world, and the importance of preserving it for future generations. The Tasmanian Tiger Recent Research Findings The Tasmanian Tiger, also known as the thylacine, was a unique and elusive marsupial predator that roamed the Australian island of Tasmania. Despite being officially declared extinct in the 20th century, sightings and alleged encounters have sparked curiosity and debate among researchers and the public. Recent studies have shed new light on the enigmatic creature, exploring its genetics, behavior, and the potential for its return from extinction. History and Extinction The thylacine was a carnivorous marsupial with a distinct appearance, featuring stripes across its lower back, resembling that of a tiger, 
hence its popular nickname. Native to Tasmania, this solitary creature was the largest carnivorous marsupial in modern times, believed to have become extinct in the early 20th century due to hunting, habitat destruction, and disease, coupled with human pressures. Recent genetic studies One of the most intriguing aspects of Tasmanian tiger research involves genetic analysis. Recent studies have focused on extracting DNA from preserved thylacine specimens, including pelts, bones, and specimens stored in museums and research facilities. Through advanced genetic sequencing techniques, scientists have been able to map the genome of the Tasmanian tiger, providing valuable insights into its evolutionary history, genetic diversity, and potential for de-extinction efforts. Genetic studies have revealed that the closest living relatives of the thylacine are the Tasmanian devil and the numbot. By comparing the genetic data of the thylacine with its relatives, researchers have gained a deeper understanding of its phylogenetic relationships and evolutionary lineage. Behavioral Insights While genetic studies have provided valuable information, understanding the behavior and ecology of the Tasmanian tiger remains a challenge. Recent research efforts have delved into historical records, indigenous knowledge, and eyewitness accounts to piece together a comprehensive picture of the thylacine's lifestyle, hunting patterns, and interactions with its environment. One of the key findings from behavioral studies is that the thylacine was a nocturnal and crepuscular hunter, preying on small to medium-sized mammals, birds, and insects. Its unique jaw structure allowed it to open its mouth wider than any living mammalian predator, enabling it to consume large chunks of meat in a single bite. De-extinction controversy The concept of de-extinction, or bringing back extinct species through genetic engineering and cloning, has sparked both excitement and controversy in the scientific community. Some researchers argue that advances in genetic technology could potentially resurrect the Tasmanian tiger by inserting thylacine DNA into the genome of its closest living relative, the Tasmanian devil. However, ethical concerns, ecological implications, and the feasibility of such endeavors remain hotly debated. Proponents of de-extinction point to the potential benefits of restoring lost biodiversity reversing human-driven extinctions, and preserving endangered ecosystems. Critics raise valid concerns about the unintended consequences of reintroducing extinct species, the allocation of limited conservation resources, and the prioritization of de-extinction over protecting existing endangered species. Conservation efforts Despite the debate surrounding de-extinction, Conservation efforts are crucial for protecting endangered species and preserving biodiversity. The legacy of the Tasmanian tiger serves as a reminder of the impact of human activities on vulnerable wildlife populations. Initiatives aimed at habitat restoration, wildlife protection, and public awareness play a vital role in safeguarding the future of endangered species and preventing further extinctions. In conclusion, the Tasmanian tiger continues to fascinate researchers and the public, with recent studies providing valuable insights into its genetics, behavior, and potential for de-extinction. While the debate over de-extinction rages on, the lessons learned from the legacy of the thylacine underscore the importance of conservation and responsible stewardship of our planet's precious biodiversity. The Tasmanian tiger. Recent research findings. The Tasmanian tiger, also known as the thylacine, was a unique and elusive marsupial predator that roamed the Australian island of Tasmania. Despite being officially declared extinct in the 20th century, sightings and alleged encounters have sparked curiosity and debate among researchers and the public. Recent studies have shed new light on the enigmatic creature, exploring its genetics, behavior, and the potential for its return from extinction. History and Extinction The thylacine was a carnivorous marsupial with a distinct appearance, featuring stripes across its lower back, resembling that of a tiger, hence its popular nickname. Native to Tasmania, this solitary creature was the largest carnivorous marsupial in modern times, 
believed to have become extinct in the early 20th century due to hunting, habitat destruction, and disease, coupled with human pressures. Recent genetic studies. One of the most intriguing aspects of Tasmanian tiger research involves genetic analysis. Recent studies have focused on extracting DNA from preserved thylacine specimens, including pelts, 